Hello and welcome to the final race of 2022. So, as you'd expect, this is a tiebreaker race like usual because this is the final race of the year and it's one of the biggest races of the year like usual. As we have a huge amount of marbles competing for this one. Of course, we have a total of 48 tied marbles in this occasion for this year. But because, you know, it's still a huge number, we are still splitting this into two heats just to keep things simplified and relaxed. And this time around, it's a little bit more evened out because we have 24 marbles for both heats. So speaking of the heats, heat A will be color-coded in green and heat B will be color-coded in cyan. So, yeah, it's really nice as it's corresponding to the A, B, and S in the 22X colors like i have put out here a great attention to detail i have set up for the heats and of course we can't go over this race without showing off our non-ties so of course we got a new record folks so we have 14 non-ties so this is a brand new record and it's a record that no other year will be topping off because 2022 had 14 non ties, and of course, this year, last year I meant, had 9. So, this is a massive, significant boost thanks to these summer and winter schedules I've been putting out throughout the year. And yes, I really did put this upside down, but whatever. So, of course, let's go ahead and go over the non ties, which are Cat's Eye Red, Space Black, Rainforest, Amber, Tiger Shark, Mars Orange. Golden Viper, Cursed Moonlight, Lime Green, Blood Red. Yes, I am using this version of Blood Red because, you know, the Sharpie version, it might make a mess or something. So that's why I have this version of him for this one, just to keep things clean. Crystal, Red Swirl, Shiny Black, and finally our current world champion, Snowball. So we still have a world champion not being part of a tiebreaker race, but we'll see if next year could change that for now. A world champion is still a non-tied marble so yeah and of course I'm going to be showing you guys the track like usual because yes I shifted definitely for this race so of course let me show it right now here's this huge contraption of a track I made for this episode and not only we have the dual funnel setup being brought back and being used for the first time since chapter 2 season 7 earlier this year but also it's more of a double dual final setup because you begin with the flat ones then the normal ones and then the split funnel and all that type of stuff and also the Imaginarium set is being combined with this set for this race as you'd expect because of how much of it is going to go on and as for this one it doesn't matter if you go here or you go straight into the hole and as for the um, finishing podium bases, the green one will be used for Heat A, and for Heat B, there will be a yellow base, because, you know, it's no sign base or anything, so I'm using the yellow one to substitute that, but, yeah. And other than that, I guess that's gonna be about it for this huge, amazing track I have created. Let me know in the comments what you think about this track, because it could be another one of the best of the year candidates. So enough said, that's going to be about it for the track. One more thing before we begin, or a few things at least. I'll show you guys the rules on which heat the marbles will be participating in. There's a little bit too much info and I have no time to read it out myself. So you can just read it yourselves, which is of course is on screen right now and everything. And as well as the fact that based on the poll I have just you know set up on my discord for example regarding which format this year's marble series awards will be taking place it's confirmed that it'll be live so stay tuned on friday for the first ever live marble series awards so i never done that before but just to save time to you know have the rewind done on time and everything the marble series awards this year will be live for the first time so it'll be history making right there yet again so It'll show how much of a big year 2022 has been for marble racing. But for now, enough said, choose any one of these 24 marbles you think will be placing first with Heat A. So 
So of course we begin with Heat A first. And this, you know, it feels like two wildcard races morphed into one big video, but you know, that's besides the point when it comes to tiebreaker races. So now let's get the first heat going. EA was a big success, and now we are gonna head ourselves over to Heat B. So this is the second to last part of the video that we're doing. So you know the drill with the first heat, choose any one of these 24 marbles you think will be placing first in this heat, and just like the previous heat, you only have 5 seconds to choose. Go! And now let's get Heat B going. Heat B was very successful, and this was a very great, huge race to close off all marble races for 2022 before we get to the awards on Friday. So now, let's just show off the final results for both of the heats, and buckle up, this will be a very long one, so sit tight as you read along. Thank you. 
And that will do it for not only this episode, but all Marble Races for 2022. So I want to say thank you to everybody who supported the Marble Race series throughout the entire year, including one Marble Race tournament, two teamwork racing videos following the teamwork racing reboot, and a pretty loaded summer and end of the year schedule, of course. So this was an amazing race to cap off all Marble Races for 2022 in lead up to the awards, you know, with every race being closed down until the new year, of course. So... Yeah, and I think that's going to be about it for this huge episode. Two heats went very well. And now, I'll see you Marvel fans back on Friday live for the awards. But for now, we are going to leave you here for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up to share your support. Feel free to leave a comment down below. And subscribe to the notification bell enabled if you haven't already. Just so you can get notified for both the awards this past, this you know, it's Friday of course. My bad for that live club, of course. But speaking of which, this past Saturday's live stream was a huge success, you know, with celebrating 900 subscribers and the ABNSS 22X awards and such. That all went pretty well, and I can't wait to see what the first ever live Marble Race Series awards will be like. And after that, the rewind, and then, you know, after that, I'll go on holiday until January 2nd. So stay tuned for all that. But for now, that's it for this. See you back on Friday live for the awards. And have a great splendid day.